Well, good to see you again. It's a gift to be together. I was uh, been thinking that, man, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you, my, my friends, my church family. What a gift you are. Oftentimes we, we uh, take those things for granted that we believe won't go away. And the separation that we've experienced one from another as we stay home and stay healthy has, has helped me to, to truly value the gift of, of Richland Lutheran Church and our church family and the, the gift of God's grace to be your pastor. So I, I'm filled with gratitude this, this day and, and thank you. Let's, let's, uh, let's begin today with prayer. How's that? Lord, thank you for, for the things that, that we've taken for granted, that, that now uh, you've used this time to, to help us to be more mindful and appreciative of your graces. We're, we're grateful for our church family as we miss each other, Lord, as, as we long to be with one another. I'm, I'm starting to re relate to Paul's prayer to the churches where he says, I, I long to see you. I desire to come to you. And Lord, that's our desire for one another at Richland Lutheran Church. We long to see our church family. We desire to be together again. We look forward to that glorious day when we can gather and, and worship and celebrate in the, in the same place as one body. And so thank you for the gift of our time then together this morning. May, may we use it to honor and glorify you through Christ our Lord. Amen. I've been thinking a little bit about how God speaks to me and reveals his presence. The Bible has a lot of ways that God reveals himself to his people and, and speaks to them, how he makes his presence known, all the way from a, uh, a pillar of cloud to, uh, to, a, to a donkey who, who spoke to Balaam. <laughs> We remember, it's, a, it's always a funny story, to a, a burning bush. And that's what I, I want to read for us today as we consider how God manifests his presence to us. Of course, we're talking here about Moses and Moses' call. Moses grew up in we know uh, the, the home of Pharaoh as a son of uh, Pharaoh's daughter. And so we also know that, that Moses was an Israelite and acted out against those Egyptians and uh, even killed uh, uh, one of Pharaoh's uh, soldiers and ran. And so now the, the call of Moses after he's been in the desert for 40 years <clears throat> is to go free the people of Israel from Egypt. But God uses a, a very uh, unique way of manifesting his presence to Moses. The story goes as such, uh, chapter 3, verse 1 in Exodus. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Oreb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, 
here I am. That's crazy. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. Talk about what's going to get your attention. Talk about manifesting your presence. Yikes. Wonder how I would have reacted if, if I saw this burning bush that actually wasn't consuming the, the, the fuel actually needed to burn. I would be just weird. But God does these kinds of things sometimes. Makes his presence known to us quite clearly. But are we able to see how God is trying to manifest his presence? So what are some of the ways that you can think of in your life that God has made his presence known to you? You know, I, I think of my life and oftentimes God uses people to manifest his his presence to remind me that he's there. God uses nature. I uh, have, am an avid uh, fisherman and, and hunter and outdoorsman. And I see God a, a lot of places. He's, he's present to me in, in a lot of ways. But how is God present to you? And is it going to take a burning, not burning bush for you to see his presence? I hope not, but there are those times that God has to get our attention. He talks through a donkey or, or a bush that's not burning, but burning. Here's my encouragement. Ask God, am I missing you? Are you making yourself present to me in ways that I'm not seeing? And what does that look like? Give me eyes to see your presence. Ears to hear your presence. Maybe, maybe touch and feel to know you're tangible and, and with me. I don't know what God's going to do when you pray that prayer. Probably not speak through a donkey or 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 burning, not burning bush. But I know he'll answer your prayer. I know he'll reveal himself in a way that you will see him. And what a gift that will be. Let's close in prayer. God, we're grateful for the, the gift of your presence, the promises that you are with us. Sometimes you need ways to, to get our attention and to manifest your presence that are just way outside the box. A burning bush, a, a pillar of cloud, um, a, a talking donkey. But God, we pray that, that we would hear you, your voice, that we would see you, you your presence in and, and with, among us. And so God, answer our prayer. How are you revealing yourself that we might see you and practice your presence more fully? Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. It's uh, been great to be with you today. Can't wait till we can do it again tomorrow. God bless you.